Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for those tuning in here on the Radio Dollar Mississippi, WYAD 94.1 FM, and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, let's joining us are our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. We're excited to welcome Director Wes Miller to our program today. Wes is someone who's been able to do what he loves and helping to bring stories to life, including his brand-new film that's out at the time we're doing this show today. It's called A Day to Die. As an all-star cast, it's out right now on limited theaters, but also on demand. We'll remind you of that and how you can stay connected with Wes, too. Wes, thank you so much for the time, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having me, man. Um, really look forward to chatting. So, man, congratulations to you again on A Day to Die. I mean, as I mentioned, it is out now for people to be able to rent and buy or to go to be able to see it uh, in theaters. I mean, what has this experience been like for you, Wes, to be able to have brought this story to life and now have it available? You know, it's, it's very humbling and rewarding, man. You know, um, you know, anytime you make a film, they say, um, and you're you're able to actually get it done. It's a, it's a small miracle because so there are so many moving pieces, so many team members. I've been blessed with a really great team and was blessed with a great, you know, cast on this one. And, you know, just watching it from, you know, going from what you see in your head to what you see on the screen to, you know, uh, seeing it through the sound mix and then actually sitting with an audience and seeing them react to the characters and the messages um, and the action, you know, uh, in the film, man, it's just really, really humbling. And, uh, you know, it's just a, a nice reminder of of why we do all the hard work and make all the hard sacrifices. Um, I do feel like, you know, cinema is like the church in the 21st century in many regards, man, you know, especially when we're able to actually congregate in the theater and, and have a shared experience um, and hopefully leave you with smiles and thoughts and questions and, and uh, discussions afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Have you always known that storytelling in some form, uh, Wes, was something that you wanted to do? Yeah, you know, I absolutely did, man. You know, um, from being a kid, writing like my my first quote-unquote karate kid book at eight, uh, my mom still has it somewhere uh, as part of my (laughs) my elementary school. My my Pixel 2000, the black and white, like, camcorder that my mom sacrificed and got for me when I was like 12, you know, doing home movies and with my, my neighborhood kid friends and you know, doing our horror movies and wrestling movies to um, to eventually, you know, becoming an attorney. And, um, you know, uh, long story short, I, I really wanted to go into film, but my film program at my undergrad was full, so I did pre-law and uh, just kind of fell in love with the law itself as well, um, which is also a form of storytelling. But knowing that wasn't my final journey, man, um, really just dug in when technology opened itself up and I was able to get a DSLR and really able to make cinematic images and, just really started, like, learning and learning the craft, man. And, you know, about 2015, man, made the full-time decision to uh, to, to follow it, man. And uh, yeah. haven't, haven't looked back since. And to go from 2015 West to making that decision to now here we are, fast forward seven years later, a new project out. And the thing about you that I noticed when I was prepping for this segment, you not only try to entertain, you also try to get your audiences to think. Why has that been so important for you to kind of have that dual dynamic there of, of giving them something that they'll enjoy, but also giving them something they also will remember? Um, because I think we, we remember the things that we enjoy. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I feel like, you know, we're on this earth one time. Um, we leave things behind that outlast us. And, you know, a, you know, as a filmmaker, you kind of want to share your thoughts and your passions, you know, with the world. But also, um, like I said, you know, you want to entertain. You want people coming watching your um, your films. And then, you know, on the you know, and as a filmmaker, you have to be cognizant of the business side. Like, you know, um, they they want uh, they meaning the financiers don't want to lose their money. Um, yeah. So you know, you really need something that you know is, is entertaining and and appeals to people. And, uh, and yeah, man, I think that's it. You know, and I don't, I really don't want to sound pretentious because you know, I, I just you know, my my view of the world is a very small slice and. You know, I really enjoy, you know, sharing and, and discussing. And, uh, and yeah, man, I think that's kind of what it comes down to. And that brings us to where we are now with the data die, as I mentioned, an all-star cast. I mean, let's talk about that. I mean, it's one thing for you to be able to do what you love, with, but then you're working with these, these individuals. I noticed uh, last year, 
uh, I had on the the radio side here in Mississippi, uh, one of the co-stars uh, on the program, uh, Gianni, and and we were talking about him coming to Mississippi, and and you know he you know he of course he couldn't talk a lot at the time about what he was working on, but I mean to kind of now see this project, I was able to see it on Prime Video. I mean to kind of see it unfold. I mean, what was that like for you to have these particular cast members being able to bring the story to life? You know, it was also another very humbling experience, man. You know, these, you know, uh, you know, speaking of like, you know, Kevin, Leon, Frank, and Bruce, you know, these are all, you know, amazing actors and legendary. Um, and that's not even just speaking of the, the more supporting cast, like, you know, Gianni and Alexander and Vernon Davis and Brooke. You know, it was, uh, and uh, Curtis Nichols also, you know, it was really, and Muhammad, man, I just, I can keep naming and naming all my, my cast, man. It's just so amazing. Um, and, and, you know, I was so thankful that they trusted me, um, to help tell this story. And I was so thankful that they were able to bring their selves to the characters and they're just consummate professionals, man. And so it was just a joy, almost like a masterclass of, of watching these actors and when you're prepping the scenes and walking through the scenes and you're getting ready. And, and then when you find the scene and, and, and you really see what, what the scene is about and where it moves and where the switches are. Um, and where the transitions are, and, and, and everything just start to land, you're like, oh, okay, here we go, and then this camera's up. Um, and so, yeah, man, it was, I'm just, you know, in awe, you know, of, of that experience. And, you know, I, I probably, I haven't done this, and I probably will one day, but, you know, I haven't really taken a step back and mm-hmm. taken a view of it, um, you know, to kind of like, quote, unquote, revel in it at all. Um, right. because we've been grinding and working and, you know, just want to continue doing it. One day I probably will, but right now, man, it's really, you know, uh, foot to the grindstone and, and keep rolling, keep working hard. Yeah, and and, and I, I think, and shout out to Leon, too. I, I definitely need to mention him because he came on the program last year, too. But I, I think, you know, there there are so many moving parts in this film. So I have to ask you selfishly a couple of questions, Wes, since we are one of the platforms mm-hmm. we're on is the radio side here in Mississippi. How did you decide on Mississippi yeah. for the location? So the state, we decided on the state because um, Mississippi has, you know, a really good tax incentive. Um, so for the financiers, you know, the state that they approved and made sense. Um, I settled on Jackson uh, for a couple of reasons. One, they had a really rich urban landscape. Um, the downtown, you know, it's not huge, but what they have is, like, really beautiful, really nice architecture. Yeah. It makes it feel like a big city, and if you shoot it right, like, it can feel like any big city in America. Um, and then, two, the people. Man, the mayor, the the um, Senator Horn there, like, they really welcomed us, you know, with open arms. And, and, and the fire chief, the police chief, like I can't, man. The whole city, man. They just really like, you know, open their arms up to us, man. And so, like for me, you know, I always want people on my team who want to be there, who want to have fun, and who I trust. And you know, they just open their arms up I like family, man. And like, you know, we just had a really total wonderful experience. Well, I tell you, that's that's the thing I love about the state. I mean, it, it definitely is that way. I mean, I don't think we we get recognized for that enough because there's so many other crazy things that happen sometimes here. But but you're right, the people are great here. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about though, and now that I've seen the film, about something you just mentioned because it was so funny. I knew it was shot here. I hate, you know, I missed the uh, the you know the premiere you guys had last week. We have to talk about that, Wes. I didn't get no invite. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but look, um, I was watching this thinking this don't even look like that. I mean, it, it looked amazing. I mean, so I want to talk about that experience because, I mean, from the, the overhead shots, and, I mean, it, it, you're exactly right. I mean, to, knowing it was shot here is one thing, but the way that, I mean, what was that like for you to see how all that came together to create this really great cinematic film? You know, it was it was awesome, and I think the the more awesome thing is like your response. You know, locals there and people who know the city, and when they see it, they're proud of it. And you know, yeah. look, man, like like how many look? Life is about experiences, and how many times in life can you go to somewhere and see your place where you grew up that you've seen negative headlines about um, that that you've experienced the positives and the negatives, but go and got and really get that sense of pride of like, wow, where I live is really beautiful. Um, yeah. and you know, 
even for a lot of the locals to be able to come to the get a red carpet experience. You know, it's like a once in a lifetime, you know, thing for a lot of people. So, right. you know, it, it's just it's just one of those joyous things of being able to give back, and and a, you know, another reason you know why we do what we do. Um, so that was really great, man. And I'll say, man, you know, it's just like you know, um, my guy on the ground, Curtis Nichols, did a great job in like you know giving us some guidelines, and we got on the ground, we went and we looked. We picked out, you know, all these locations, and then it's really about camera placement at that, man. And, um, you know, like at the beginning of the film where the kid's coming down the the, um, the stairwell, the external stairwell, man, that could be like New York. Um, right. My my uh, th- my three-year-old was with me when we went to the New York premiere, and we, you know, um, in New York. So we're walking down the street, and we see some of those fire escapes. And she was like, Dad, that's like yours. Is this where you shot it? <laughs> I'm like, no, babe, that was done in Mississippi. But it looks just like it, right? She's like, yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, that's cool, man. So, yeah, you know, Jackson does have that mixed architecture, man. You just take a little time to, like, really, you know, look for it and, and you know, train your eye on it. You'll, you'll find some really wonderful places. What, what a great thing. We're going to actually let our audience know how they can be able to watch the film with. One last thing I want to mention, though, is you made a post back in May of 2021, because one thing we haven't talked about, you were able to do all of this in the middle of a worldwide pandemic. And on, on Instagram, for those who are not following Wes, you can find them there at I am Wes Miller. You, you posted this on, on May 2021. I started with nothing more than a dream and a prayer and been putting a whole lot of work. We got this done in a pandemic. So excited to share this one. And of course, talking about the film we're discussing here at Day to Die, what was that element like? I mean, outside of everything we've talked about, you had this great cast. You were able to do what you need to do in the city, but you were doing it in the middle of everything all of us were dealing with with the pandemic what was that layer of it like man it was difficult and you know you know again you know a lot like a lot of people my first time you know having to shoot with those restrictions with camera I'm excuse me with mask and testing every day and like you know social distancing and, and being smart um so you know it just added a layer of challenge and I think you know it's just like you know, I guess I'll use the football analogy. It's like when you're playing a game and, you know, the referees are, like, you know, making some, some calls against you. You just have to still dial in and and do your thing. And um, I think, you know, after the first couple of days, it just became, all right, this this is part of it. You just build in a little bit more time and, you know, stay safe and, and, and get it done. But, yeah, it was really challenging, man. Um, thankfully, we didn't have any, you know, positive COVID tests. Um, which is a, you know, very, you know, good thing for, for my, like my crew and my team, like they took it all serious and, you know, right. could, you know, you could get a little complacent um, sometimes because there's so many moving pieces and, you know, um, so yeah, it was difficult, man. But like I said, we just dialed in and, you know, like safety first and then like get everything else after. Uh, so yeah, we, we made it. Yeah. And now it's available for our audience in Mississippi to be able to see in the theater and also in other places in limited release. But anyone can see it now by going uh, to to your favorite streaming site. Of course, our partner is Prime Video. You guys can rent or buy it there. Again, the film is A Day to Die. And one of the big things I took away from it that I think is universal, Wes, um, is what would you do to save someone you love? You know, I think that's a question these days all of us can kind of think about, especially if we look at where the world is right now, um, the way you were able to kind of take that question and answer it uh, and bring sometimes unlikely people together (laughs) around their causes, uh, I I think really, really says a lot, right? Yeah, man. And I'm glad, you you know, you picked up on it, man. Um, You know, to me, the film is really like a metaphor of where we are today and just wrapped inside of a a very, you know, nice and action packed piece, man. And, um, yeah, you know, we're we're so different. I mean, you know, we all have these different ideals and, you know, we're so ostracized and separated these days, but there there could be and, and may be a time where we have to put all these differences aside for, you know, common goal and common good. Yeah. And that's one of the things you guys can definitely take from this incredible film. Again, everyone, the film is A Day to Die. For those joining us here in Mississippi, you guys can be able to watch it in select theaters here, as well as in other places as well. But all of you guys can be able to go to your favorite streaming outlet again to be able to rent or buy it there. Wes, man, really appreciate you stopping by. Again, our guest has been Director Wes Miller. Talk with us about his own career in this film. Wes, how, um, how can our audience stay connected with you? Yeah, I think Instagram is the best way, man. I'm getting better at the social media thing, uh, but I am a M. Wes Miller um, at, at IG is the, the best way. All right. And we'll make sure that we tag that for our audience on iHeartRadio and also Amazon Music. Again, Wes, congratulations to you and the cast. I appreciate the time and looking forward to having you back on the program again. 
All right. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. Hey, glad to do it. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live here in your community station in Mississippi, WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care.